his own farmhouse. Wait. Is that a name of a show? Because I don't want nobody to be trying to come sue me, honey. For taking the name of their show. Oh, they having a yard sale. Oh. Oh, they having a yard sale. I haven't seen a good yard sale on a Saturday morning in a long time. It's early. Anyway, hey y'all, welcome back to another episode. Like I said, um, leave me a comment down below and let me know if this old farmhouse is a show. Because I don't want to be sued. I ain't got no money. So, today, on today's agenda. Yesterday, I actually started filming a video at the farm. And then it was cut short because it, um, I ended up doing something else. But then I couldn't finish the something else. So, I had to just 86 that until I can pick back up. Anyway, today, um, we are, I'm going out there to take the last huge load of demo stuff from the demo a week ago i need to take that big pile of trash and i got the pressure washer on the back of the truck so that um i can pressure wash the house the uh, patio and maybe the driveway i'm not sure but um so that's the plan for today plan I had for yesterday's video <laughs> didn't happen so maybe I can incorporate that in here today too it all depends on how tired I am how much I gotta do um today so I hope you guys are doing well I'm fine I'm, I mean I'm good voice is still the same pretty much and I think now at this point it's just probably a combination of definitely you know the fact that I was doing a lot of uh, work in the house with no mask on, and I've just, you know, got what's coming to me, you know, for not wearing a mask, but I can't breathe in that damn mask, so either way, I'm, I'm going to be screwed, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> so I'd rather breathe during the process and suffer for it later, okay, let me choose my own balance, so I hope you guys are doing well, I hope you guys have been enjoying thoroughly enjoying seeing old school Sharon basically back in action back at the same location <laughs> you met me at how ironic and full circle as a lot of you realize um, I know you're going to be really really sad when this series is over I'm going to be sad when it's over it does feel like a new house and I think every time I end up redoing something in the house it gives me a different feeling but this time this time it's it's different i don't really understand it i don't i'm not even trying to put too much thought into it i just know it feels different and i'm really really happy for minx and her family i'm really happy I've got 
every night. Oh my goodness. That foot is on fire. It feels like somebody is holding a lighter to the foot. No infection. No infection. All my antibiotics were taken. Now mind you, let me let me just rewind because let me just wait a minute. The old injury before the nail situation was a thing anyway. Like it would occasionally hurt or throb or burn a little bit, but nothing. Nothing, you know. Now with the nail area, and I know it's only been like a couple weeks, so I, I do expect it to still be a little bit sore. Like it's healed. Not really, no. It's closed. But it's, I'm not even going to show it to y'all because you know, you know, if, if that, I probably better edit this part out of the video because listen, I already know, uh, Sharon, you know better. You know not to share nothing dealing with your health, with these family members because, girl, I feel like a real farmhouse owner. I'm destined to own a damn farm. I'm destined to live on a farm driving a pickup truck you know taking feed down to the stables for my horses right I need to go out here and get these eggs from this chicken coop <laughs> I know I'm scared of everything I'm going to be scared of the chickens the horses all of it I'm scared of everything on my farm totally will be but I need that my soul needs a farm. Love y'all, by the way. Did I? Auntie, love you. And I do want to say thank y'all so much. I don't know what is happening here, but okay. Um, y'all have been so loving lately. And I, you know, I really, 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 really appreciate you guys giving me my flowers now. I've told y'all that before, just in life in general, right? This right here is what matters. I don't know what the series has done for you guys. I feel like something. I, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. But I do want to say thank y'all. The, the comments have been nothing but absolutely loving. Just loving. I'm a lucky girl in more ways than one. Well, literally nothing happened today. Nothing. No trash, no power washing, nothing. I'm actually headed home. Quan is sick with a, I don't know if it's food poisoning or virus, but I'll tell you who don't want no parts of it, this lady. I'm going home, okay? Spray myself down with some Lysol and to the chateau, I go. I have something I'm gonna show you when we get home. I'm gonna take this weekend and just relax. See, when stuff like this happens, that's my cue. That's my cue to sit down and rest. It's Saturday, It's what time is it? It's only 10.39. I got time to go back and take a nice, hot, relaxing bath. I got time, and it's kinda, what is the temperature? 70 degrees right now. So it's kinda warm with a little bit of a breeze. But it's overcast. I don't know if you can tell. It's super gray out. Definitely a day to do nothing. And I'm gonna just enjoy the opportunity of doing nothing today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see y'all back at the chateau. No work done at the farm today, but we'll get back out there on Monday. But as far as today, we just gonna hang out. Okay, not hang out, but <laughs> we're going to, you know, be right here. Y'all ain't seen the Chateau in a minute anyway, so, yeah. Let's go home and be bums, do nothing, you know, enjoy the day. Let's see where it takes us, hopefully nowhere. <laughs> I don't want to go nowhere. I don't want to go nowhere. Okay, so look, let me show y'all something. So I had to run in um, Target the other day for 
don't even remember what it was, y'all, but I had to go in there and get it. But I was walking past the tar Target Dollar Spot, and these right here caught my eye. And it made me think about the village that I've been wanting to create for quite some time. So Target had these little um, buildings right here and they were five bucks. So I got, so you get these ones, right? This little, look, they didn't have a lot of choices, but I figured I could get them and then like maybe paint the ones I want to change because I think they're made out of like cardboard, right? So all of these are the same, but I needed enough to create a village. Okay, and then this one is different. As you can see, it's different than that one. And then, let me see, which one is this? This one is another one like this one, right? Yep, that's this. And then, what else? I'll show y'all what else I got. So how many? And then I think I have like two little houses that I've always had from the Target Doll spot. So I could... Maybe add those in. And then look, they have these too. So I figured I could add these into the little village. It's like a little bucket of pine cones and then like burning wood logs. So I picked up. Y'all, by the way, this is, okay, what's missing? Oh, this is missing. So some trees and a little tin bucket. And then, same thing, but a little bit different. Snowballs, fresh cut trees, and then some bales in a little container. Now that was cute. And then look, okay. Last but not least, I grabbed these. Y'all, this is literally all I have for Christmas. This is all I bought. <laughs> I got a bunch of little trees, little snow flock trees, because I thought you know, they can just sit around in the village and make it warm and cozy. How much were these? These were a dollar, I think, right? Yeah, one dollar for those ones. And then these were also three dollars. So technically a dollar a situation. So I was thinking village. And I was also thinking paint the ones you want to change or leave them the same, it don't matter. And then I was thinking too, I'm gonna cut a little hole in here and put tea lights in them so that they can light up. Y'all, I'm shame <laughs> that this is all I have for dang Christmas. Talking about I got something to show y'all. Child, you could have kept that off the camera. This little bit of stuff. Y'all, before showing y'all <laughs> my little village, I was literally the Grinch that stole Christmas. Like, I wasn't even in the mood for it. You notice I have no videos up about nothing Christmas. I just wasn't feeling it this year. But since sitting right here playing with these little houses and just sitting them up and imagining the possibilities, I'm kind of in the mood. Girl, I got a cul-de-sac back here. I'm five years old all over again. I'm loving it. I can only imagine what this thing will look like with like faux snow and lit up. Look at that. And look, I think these are the businesses here because, girl, the pub and inn. So that's a business. We gonna pretend like this is a bakery right and we can pretend like oh this one is the cafe see these are the businesses i need to create a business center i mean you know the business part of downtown the downtown of my village could be these businesses we have a cafe and since we don't need two cafes i can turn that one into something else right or we can turn some of these into three-story houses. But, okay.
Okay, first of all, tree, don't do that, honey. While we in make believe land. Okay, so look. Look at their houses. Churches or something. I don't know. Let's look at I'm loving this. Okay, don't judge me. I don't care. Let's go in here and see. Oh, they ain't got no furniture or nothing. They need some help. Look at them. This is a whole... I need to go buy about five more boxes of these, you know? Can you imagine the possibilities of... I need some cars... I need, um, leave me a comment down below. Add some stuff to the village. What else do we need in our village? And make sure you add stuff that's findable, sis, because I have always, always, always wanted a nice Christmas village. And I think I'm on to something now. Leave me a comment. Let me know what else I need to add. They're already dragging me out to bed to do something that I don't feel listen, like doing. Listen, listen. Listen, I got mm. the plant gone, right? Right. The plant gone. Only plant in here now is the fiddle and and, and bam. So it's balanced, right? Okay. All right. So we talked about this wall and doing a 3D wood, mm. whatever. Right. All right. So I'm going to do that today. <sighs> today. <laughs> okay. I'm do that today. But first of all, it's huh? Sunday. It's right. a day of rest. Yeah, no, it's not rest today. That's not rest today. See, I mean, even looking here, look, when we turn around, they ain't that many plants in here now. Still got her and Roy, and then this money right there. But see, it ain't, it ain't, we can start using this room now because it ain't over vegetated. <laughs> over vegetated. <laughs> not over vegetated no more. Would you agree? It's not over vegetated as it was, no. Okay. And I just moved two plants out of here. Well, they were big. But anyway, okay. So I'm thinking, like, maybe like, how big? Inch, inch and a quarter, inch and three quarters or two inch. You want fat strips, right? We don't want, you don't want strips at all. Right? So I'm thinking I'm just going to, like, just cut the wood and just put it out around it and, and just stick them in there, you know. Wait a minute now. You're going to what? I don't know. So, so you mean, don't, okay, wait, babe. You don't even have a plan? No, the plan is no plan. I'm going to freestyle it. Now, I know that's, that's out of my character, that, but we're going to freestyle this one. Because we got, so I got two pieces of big, I'm going to get two pieces of big MPL, right? And then cut those, you know. Two inch strips or whatever. Right. And then, so that gets, if I do two sheets, 48, that, that give me 20, that give me 48 strips. 48 eight foot strips, right? And so, I think I'll just 45 them at the end and just pop them in there, right? And then just do one there and then find another and just oh, randomly put them. Oh my goodness. But I need your help though. I need your help. Oh my goodness. I mean, we can point out something on paper, whatever the case is, but I'm thinking we gotta get the color, right? We gotta get the color. You serious? Yeah. Paint and cutting wood. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So and then we'll pull all this out. I guess this picture won't be no good. Oh. All this stuff won't, won't be. You know, we we'll figure out what that, what we do with that. But yeah, yeah. I think it'll be. I think it'll set it off. I think when you come in the house and then you hit with that accent wall with that three D wood. Hey. <laughs> Bye. Let's do it. You wanna let me do my arches? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I get the wall. You gotta do something. You gotta be busy, babe. You don't need to do this That's wall though. Now that the plants is all gone, there's no more of a jungle. Actually looks decent. It looks real good. It looks real good here. Yeah, it's gonna look banging when we put that accent wall in there. We're gonna get that done today. Come on, let's go. Off the home people.
Anderson ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it. For the biggest, that's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket. Talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. For the biggest, that's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket. Talking Mazda for the biggest, that's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. One four by eight sheet of MDF cut twenty three two inch strips. 23, that's such an odd number. Why is that? Why wasn't it 24 or 22? So every time the blade cuts, they cut an eighth inch off. Because the thickness of a blade is eight, eighth of an inch. So by the time you make four cuts, you, you cut a half inch of wood off. So that, that one, that two oh. that we're missing, that's a blade cut. But yet that little piece was the only that was the, that left was the over. Left. Interesting. Okay, so I don't like the idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and insert that in this video right now So they don't be an I told you so moment But I don't like the idea that he just want to cut these at a 45 and just kind of put them up there like a uh, I don't like it. I don't like it I don't like it. Okay. I like more of a situation of some uniform something I feel like the cutting it and just randomly placing it is gonna mess with my mental space. Like it's gonna throw me off. Yeah, that's just my thought for right now. So why don't we? But make, we'll see. Why don't we make a design this? She know that I wanna be good for you. She know that I wanna be good for you. I do, but sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad, or can't you see? I'm just being weak. Mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you. I think you know that I care for you, I do. But sometimes I can't be there for me. Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see? That I'm just being me. Sometimes we're just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we're just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love I don't wanna be mad on you No, I don't wanna be mad on things you do But sometimes I need what's best for me Sometimes I need what's best Baby, can't you see? Can't be there when you weak No, no, no Yes, I want you to be here for me Of course I want you to be here Don't disappear Sometimes I need you strong for me Sometimes I need you strong when I'm on my knees Oh baby please
want you to love, I know it's there And even if we don't agree, I know you care Cause baby, you and me, we meant to be You don't question my love, you know it's there And even if we don't agree, you know I care Cause baby, you and me, we meant to be It's you and me, unconditional La ha 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 You and me, unconditional love We just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Thank you.